Hey viewers, a little while back I got a great deal on a Trek BMX bike. I got it real cheap, but it's going to need a lot of work, but I don't mind it. I like doing work. So um, what I'm going to do today is overhaul the bottom bracket. It's got a single piece uh, crank set on here. And so I'm going to walk you through the whole process of doing that. Uh, the bike is missing a chain, so ordinarily the first step might be to loosen the rear wheel and remove the chain, but I can skip that step because it doesn't have a chain. And I'm going to remove the pedals. Uh, normally I would only need to remove the non-drive side, but when I pull the uh, crank set off, it's chrome, and I'm going to go ahead and clean this all up. So I'm going to remove this uh, drive side pedal as well. So I got a uh, um, pedal wrench here. Let me see. So that pedal's off. Then I'm going to remove the uh, non-drive side uh, pedal here. So I got my pedal wrench here. Get that there. And got that pedal off. Now I need to remove this lock nut here. This is on the non-drive side. And this is left hand threaded. So I need to remove it by turning it uh, clockwise. So, and I have a Cone wrench here, it's a 32 millimeters. You can use a crescent wrench as well, like an adjustable wrench. And I'm gonna get this loosened here and remove it. Oh, and it's turning the whole cone part there as well, which, okay. Normally this would just come off by itself and come off a lot easier once I got it loosened up. So there I can remove this lock nut here and then there should be a washer here like a keyed washer but I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and just turn this up. There's the, the keyed washer, but it seemed to be a turning with the whole thing. So now I should be able to just turn this cone off. And again, this is left hand threaded, so I can remove this by turning it clockwise. And remove it. And so there's the cone. And then I can remove the bearings. And so they're cage bearings like that. So now I'm over on the drive side again. So I should be able to just pull this whole crank stuck set out here from the bottom bracket shell and so that's all off now and now I also want to remove the uh, drive side cone here and I can remove the, the uh, chain ring off the the uh, cranks here um, so I need to remove this here this is removed by turning it counterclockwise I have a park tool HCW5 which fits onto here and so I can kind of get this here and then use a, use a wooden mallet, kind of tap down, kind of get it broken loose a little bit. And just unscrew this. Like this. I can slide this off here like this. And then there's a washer here. And then the I can slide the chain ring off. And so now I have this whole thing apart. So now I'm going to clean up all these parts and get ready to put it back together. Okay, so I got these parts all cleaned up. So I'm going to put the chain ring back onto the crank here. I want to have it so that the logo is facing out. So that's going to slide on to the uh, crank arm first. So slide that onto the non-drive side. And then I want to have it so that this little part here is lined up into the hole like that. So that's sitting in there like this. There was a washer, so put, slide the washer on there like that. And then I had the uh, drive side, side cone here. So I'll slide this on here like this. And then this screws on clockwise. So I'll get that on there. And then using my wrench here, I'm going to tighten this on. And I want it 
get it really tight. Like that. And then I want to get the cups cleaned up as well. It uh, looks like there's a little external rust on there, but that should be okay because it doesn't look like it's in the races. So I'm going to use a little bit of a degreaser and just kind of spray this in there and get these all cleaned up as well as I can get them. Okay, so I got the bottom bracket uh, shell pretty well cleaned out. So now I'm ready to start putting this back together. I've got the bearings here. I'm on the uh, drive side. So I'm going to take some uh, marine grease and just pack the bearings uh, with the grease. Basically just inject a bunch of uh, grease in between each of the bearings. Try to get you know, as much in into the cage as I can. If you don't have like a little grease gun, you can just kind of like use like a knife and just kind of scrape it, you know, just kind of uh, push some grease in there, just scrape it in along there. And just try to get as much grease into the cage as you can. And then you could also just take a little bit of grease and put it around to the race in the bottom bracket shell there. And then I can take the uh, bearing and I'm going to just slide it in there uh, with the flat side of the cage facing out. Now I can take the uh, crank and I'm going to slide that through like this and get this just sit sitting into place like that. Okay, now I'm ready to put together the uh, non-drive side. So again, I have the bearings over here. So I'm going to pack the bearings with grease, injecting grease in between each of the bearings in the cage. Just try to get the, the cage just filled with grease. And then once you get the bearing all packed with grease, um, just go ahead and squirt a little bit of uh, grease down around the race. Like this. And then I'm going to slide the bearing down onto the crank and I want the, uh, the flat side of the bearing facing out. So it's going to be like this. Just like that. Next I can slide the cone onto the crank arm and I want the cone side facing in. And then I'm going to screw this onto the crank arm counterclockwise. And I want to be careful not to cross thread this. It should turn on nice and smoothly. Like this. Okay, screw the uh, cone on until it's about finger tight against the bearings. And then just back it off maybe about an eighth of a turn. Like that. Now I got a new keyed washer that's got the, the better key in there. So I'm going to slide this on to the arm here. And then I'm going to have it so that the, the little key fits into this slot there, like that. And then I'll take the lock nut, slide this onto the arm, and then I'm going to screw this on counterclockwise. And make sure that I don't cross thread it. It should, go, it should turn on nice and smoothly. And then tighten that up against the key lock washer there. And then test it here. It's still turning smoothly. Check for play. There's maybe just a hair of play in there, but I'm going to see how it uh, feels after I tighten this in. And fortunately, when I'm tightening the lock nut, now the uh, cone is not turning, so that's good. And now I feel, turn it, make sure it feels smooth. Check for play and no significant play in there. So I'm going to tighten this on all the way. So that's nice and tight, nice and smooth and no play. Perfect. Now I'm ready to reinstall the pedals here. And so I'm going to put a little bit of grease onto the threads here like this. And I'm going to thread this in, get it started. And it should turn in relatively smoothly there. And I can pedal this backwards to thread this on. Holding the, uh, the uh, axle the pedal spindle. Like this. And then tighten this on to the crank like that. Okay, now I'm ready to put the drive side pedal on. And again, put a little bit of grease on here like this. And I'll start threading this on like this, get it started.
Make sure you don't cross thread it. And then I can hold the, the pedal spindle, turn it backwards. Okay, and then tighten it on there like this. And so now if I had uh, the chain, I'd go ahead and put the chain on there and I'm all done. So that's turning nice and smoothly and there's no play in there. And that is how to overhaul the bottom bracket on a BMX bike with a one-piece crank set. Hope you found that useful or interesting. If you did, please click like on my video. I always appreciate getting likes on my videos. It helps me out. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, click the big subscribe button and you'll see new videos as they come out. And I'm also over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like my page, and I post a lot of stuff over there. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.